guys. guys, and welcome to a Disney World travel day. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I'm Corey. And where are we going? What does my shirt say? <laughs> and what does my shirt say? Yes, so we're headed to Disney World. We're so, so excited. We've been planning this trip for months. We're finally ready. Mm -hmm. We're at the airport, so welcome to the travel day. It is bright and early. Woke up at 3.45, probably fell asleep After around 11.45. 11.45, oh yep, yeah. So it was like a cat nap. Barely slept, because my excitement was through the roof, but we're excited. We have a busy day, and we've had quite the morning, but the Disney magic will be coming very, very shortly. Oh yeah. The Starbucks line was about an hour and a half deep. That was probably longer than any ride in Disney, because there was only two baristas working. The line was an hour and a half deep, TSA pre-checked, and I put my, D Delta did not confirm my confirm number for TSA, TSA pre-check, pre so I had to go through standard security. Um, security. So that was fun. Yeah. And my coffee was severely burnt that I got from <laughs> the whatever like corner store corner places store here. here. But that's okay. You know why? Because bad things come in threes. Like it's the trifecta. So that's it for the whole trip. Oh yeah. Like so we're that done. Works for me. That's it. That's all we have to do. So now we're just sitting at the gate. We're ready to head to Disney. We're very excited. What is the one thing you're looking forward to today? Oh, boathouse. Yeah, we are eating at the boathouse in Disney Springs, which I'm so excited about. I would say I'm excited for that, but I'm also excited for, I always think of like a few things. It's like, here's my favorite thing, here's five. So my favorite thing is the boathouse, but I'll pick a different one because you said it, so I'll oh, pick I mean, another it could be favorite. the same, it's so good I'm excited to be in the sunshine. Yesterday was the gloomiest mm. day in Boston, so I feel like tomorrow oh, in the sun is day. gonna be supreme. I do like a cloud day. I'm one of the few people on the face of the earth that doesn't mind if it's cloudy every day. I don't mind a rainy day, but I, I prefer never said some rainy. sunshine. I never said rainy. I said and cloudy. we're going to get to sit by the pool. Yes. So we're hoping for some beautiful weather today. So we will check in with you when we land in MC. Let's go to Disney. have made it, I'm squinting, to Pop Century, and we are so, so, so excited. excited, so excited. We had the most lovely, when I tell you, cast member at the front desk. Fabulous. We ended up asking for a room in the 60s, because we love being as close to the Skyliner they as possible. They had us possible. in the 50s. They had us in the 50s, it was like way farther out, and he was like, so we have a room that hasn't even been touched by housekeeping yet, but if you would like it, I'll prioritize you, and we'll basically just text you when that room is ready, and we were like, yes. yes. please, thank you. Because we are gonna be here for oh, 11 wow. days, so it makes more sense for us to be having our bags sitting and being mm -hmm. waited to be checked than doing it now. So ultimately that's what we're doing and we're so excited to be here. So now, of course, we have to get our resort mugs. Our resort mugs. And get some lunch. Absolutely. So let's go get our resort mugs. Team yellow in hand. And team blue in hand. Wait, can you pop mine open? We can actually both have our first sip of Disney Resort. Ready? Cheers to a beautiful 11 day trip at our favorite place on earth. Beautiful. Disney Blue Powerade hits different hits than any tech. other Disney Blue Powerade. Oh, wow. So we got our resort mugs and these actually have a Mickey lid, which is super cute. So I'm team blue, Corey's team yellow. If you were here for the last vlog series, then you already know. You already know Corey's yellow and I'm blue. So because we have, I would probably say like two hours before 
our room is probably gonna be ready because they hadn't touched it yet. We are actually gonna take the Skyliner over to Caribbean Beach or Caribbean Beach to grab some lunch because there's no point in just sitting around. We might as well go explore. We're on vacation. On our favorite ride in Disney. The Skyliner. Yeah, the Skyliner, the most magical flight on earth. So we are gonna head to Caribbean Beach for lunch. We're obviously gonna take you along. So let's just head to Caribbean Beach. Let's truck along. We've made it to Caribbean Beach and we have some amazing lunch. So I got the fish tacos. I've gotten these like three times. They are so good and a side of fries. Corey got something new today. What did you get, Corey? I got the rum mango pulled pork sandwich. Which sounds delicious. You want to give it a try and see how it is? I need a french fry. I can't wait. <laughs> Thumbs up. So good. Nice yeah, nice. that's good. All right, she is ready to dig in. Yeah, but I like to put some of the pico on. I always get pico. Delightful. So good. Hello everyone, Squint City Hi, here because I'm wearing glasses. And he doesn't have his sunglasses, <laughs> he doesn't have his contacts. It's okay, Center Town Market, lunch, absolutely fabulous. So delish. I said fabulish. Cause because it's delish. Exactly. It was on this. Totally, <laughs> totally. But yes, my pulled pork sandwich was absolutely delightful. It was really good. I almost, after I took a bite of yours, wished I had gotten yours. Cause it was just different. You know what I mean? Like it was, I just, that's kind of what I, I wish I would have gotten that. Just how I roll, you know? If the fish tacos were good, it wasn't that they were bad. It's just your, like your sandwich just looked amazing. It was so good and it was light and it just hit the spot. I don't yes. feel overly stuffed. I don't feel gross. Like yeah. it was a great sandwich. It was amazing. So yes. now we're just hanging out at Caribbean Beach because our room is still not ready, which we are in absolutely no we're really rush, rush for it to be. We're just kind of relaxing and enjoying Caribbean Beach. But I was just gonna say something too. It doesn't actually feel like we're here We're here yet. yet? And I'll tell you why, because every time that we've been to Disney, we've immediately just checked, checked into, into the, the room. room. Like, the room's been ready, we've been good to go, and today is the first day ever that we've been checking into Disney in the five times that we've been, right. that our room has not been ready. Right. So normally our room is ready and we unpack and we get our groceries and we get ourselves situated and feel really settled, like we're finally here, it's finally vacation finally mode. And then we will take the Skyliner or we'll go grab lunch or we'll go for a swim. And I feel like it, it makes it feel a little bit more like I don't want to say home, but it makes it feel like yes. it's real. You're settled, you're situated, your bags are unpacked, you've opened yes. your suitcase, right? You've hung up your clothes. Mm -hmm. And because we haven't done that yet, to me it doesn't 100% feel like we're here yet. Right. I mean, I'm here. I have a new resort mug and the weather's beautiful oh, and yeah. I'm in my Walt Disney World t-shirt with my best friend. So, like I'm here, I get it. I mean, what do you feel? Would you agree, do you disagree? Like, what are you feeling? I'm feeling like I need to see the resort TV and walk into our yeah, room. Yeah, I, I am that like way well, I'm that vacation. way as well. I literally made the comment to Brianna when we were on the Skyliner. I just felt as though we never left and like that's- Such a good point. It felt as though we never left, but I don't know if that's a result of us not getting into the room yet. And yeah. it's just like, oh, today was just a standard day, but I don't know. And we've been to Pop the last few times. Yeah. So I think to your point too, maybe that's why it feels like we haven't left because we actually haven't been to other resorts. That's it. Just wanted to check in. We're having a lovely time and it just feels really good to be back Woo. in Disney in warm weather with my best friend in the whole world. And we're going to have buddy. a, yeah, we're going to just have a really kick-ass week, best buddy. Oh yeah. Pound it. Oh. oh. Pound it. Oh God. <laughs> We just made it to our room. It is raining. There, it's having a little bit of an afternoon thunder afternoon, rain. Little, little, little shower, shower, and that's totally fine. So I did walk barefoot because I didn't want to get my sneakers soaking wet. So Corey has them. But we finally have our room. We requested to be right next to the Skyliner, and let me show you in 
proximity how close we are. So for reference, we are in room 4257. If you want to mail us anything. If you want to mail us anything, that's the Skyliner. Do you think they did so well? So we walk down here, I'll even take you. So we're just gonna walk together. I won't edit any of this footage out, just so that you can see actually how close we are to the Skyliner station, which then we literally walk down this yo-yo, down here, and to the Skyliner. It could not be any more perfect. I am so, 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 so glad that we ended up waiting for a room that was close to the Skyliner. So now we're gonna do a room tour, but shoes off, socks off, because we're wet. Off, so we'll do a quick room tour because we've been here a few times already, but let's check into the room. Corey Alexander, do the honors. All right, he's our first one open in the room. Okay. And here we go. Alrighty, so let's do a pop century room tour. We probably could even turn some of these lights on, make it a little bit brighter. There we go. So you walk in, here is the door right here. And then on your, ooh, thanks, Core. On your right hand side right here, this is a trundle bed. So this will pull down and sleep two people. It's a queen size bed. But if you leave it up like Corey and I do, you just have these two really nice chairs and a table. Then when you turn over here, you have your fridge or your beverage cooler, your coffee maker, cups, some little storage ice bucket. So we use that for all of our food and snacks. Then we have a recycle bin and a trash can. Me and Corey's absolute favorite part that we literally keep on at home, which is the resort, resort TV, trail. which we love. And then when you come down here, there's some storage, a few drawers, and then we'll switch over here, the bed, which is really, really nice. And I feel like the beds are really, really comfortable and I really like them. I actually really enjoy it. Me too. Really and nice. then when you turn in here, hello everyone, this is your bathroom. So you have your sink, hand towels, some storage up here, and then you do have an ironing board, which is great. You have a nice little curtain section for your clothes in your closet, some more shelves, and then if you turn where I was standing, you have your nice, beautiful shower. All right, so now I feel like it feels a little bit more real because we're in the hotel room and now we just have to get our bags. Yes. And now I feel like we're actually on our Disney vacation, which is so exciting, and we've been planning this for like months and so, months so and months, long. so I am so, so, so excited. But I, she, well, we, I guess, Her. we need to call down to room service and get, or not room service, but bell services, and get our food. luggage up here, our food up here, unpack, unwind. I'm gonna probably take a little bit of a nap because I have a headache. I'm gonna watch the Mickey cartoons. Corey's gonna watch Mickey cartoons, and we're just gonna like shower, get ready, hang out, have a nice afternoon. So our bags came from Bell Service. The gentleman was so kind, so sweet. But before we start actually undoing and unpacking and making it feel a little bit more like home in here, I wanted to do a quick little grocery haul of everything that Corey and I got from the store. Now, we are the first people every single time to do breakfast in the room because you never have to wait for everybody else eating breakfast in whatever your dining hall quick service is. So I'm gonna show you what we basically have for groceries this week. First and foremost is I always get just a little thing of fruit. So I got strawberries, two things of the sweetened vanilla almond milk. So I have both of these for Corey and I. Then I also always get some paper bowls and then we just head down to Everything Pop or the cafeteria or whatever that might be to grab paper spoons. And then I always get two things of granola bars. So I got peanut butter chocolate chip and regular chocolate chips just so that we can have little snacks and quick things for when we're in the room. I got Welch's fruit snacks. Corey loves Welch's fruit snacks. So I got him some of those. And then I love the Ritz peanut butter crackers. So I made sure to get myself and Corey some of those to share. I also got this 20 packs of Oreo minis, Nutter Butters, Chips Ahoy, and Ritz Bites because little salty, a little sweet, but just little snack packs to be able to either take into the parks or have while we're here. And then for the cereal of choice that Corey and I always eat when we come to Disney and just in general is Honey Nut Cheerios. So I'm going to put all of this away and then it really is officially time for Corey and I to start actually unpacking all of our bags, which are down here and everything needs to just get organized and put away and made it feel a little bit more like home around here. So let's unpack some bags. So we're dressed, we are clean, and we are ready to head to Disney Springs. Corey looks so handsome for a little outfit of the night you're wearing. William Murray golf shirt top. Yep. 
uh, drawstring shorts from J. Crew and yep. the Adidas Stan Smitty. Stan Smitty's. And he looks very handsome. So now we are heading out. Can we out. talk about Brianna and how beautiful she looks? <laughs> she is wearing. Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Uh, this face. Earrings. <laughs> face, my mother and father. Earrings, Amazon, dress, American Eagle, bag, Tory Burch, Steve Madden, little cheetah sandals. Oh, my sunglasses are from Amazon. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna eat at the boathouse. I'm so excited. I already probably know what I'm getting. I'm getting something on the menu. I and don't know. And that's what Corey's getting, so. I never look we... at menus before. <laughs> so we will see you when we get to the boathouse. And look at this face. Oh, I love Look at this face. He's so <laughs> cute. He's so cute. Look All right, to the boathouse. <laughs> What's up everyone? We have made it back to the boathouse, finally. How excited are we? That very was a excited. very terrible turn of the camera, so I do apologize on that. But we have our drinks to share. So, I got an old fashioned. How lovely does that look? Brianna, what is this tall Larry that you have so, here? I got a blueberry lemonade, which I got actually on our first trip of using our vlogs for May. And I have been dreaming of this drink for over a year. Over a year. Over a year? So, Cheers to another trip in the making. And we forgot to even mention that we just got this absolutely delicious warm bread and Corey is ready to just dive on in. It wouldn't be a night at a seafood restaurant if Corey was not getting an oyster. Cheers. Cheers. And it just got so dark in here. Corey, I feel like one, you always love oysters. I love oysters. I didn't grow into liking them until I was older because I'll be, I'll be very upfront. It's a, it's a texture thing. I it is a texture thing. I can understand why people do not like them. Yeah. But they just taste so good. And a common misconception is people think they just need to shoot them straight and swallow yeah. them. Like, no, you actually should be chewing them to parse the flavor out of it. Yeah. And so that's a common misconception. So, chewy oysters. Oh, and we have key lime easy peeled shrimp. It doesn't taste like key lime, it just says they're from key lime. And then we both ended up getting a Caesar salad to split. How's the Caesar? It's a good Caesar salad. I wouldn't rank it like as over the top. I feel as though it's a typical Caesar salad that you would standard. Yeah. But it's very nice. Good. So we are eating the easy to peel shrimp and I understand their name says easy to peel. However, not the most easy to peel. It was a little bit of a challenge. Oh, when but it's when it's peeled, you dip it in this like warm butter. Absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. Like so good. It's worth the pain to peel. It's almost like when you dip, you know, lobster in butter, but this is just, it's a nice change of pace. Alrighty, we've got our meals. Baked potato with butter and sour cream and this delicious huge lobster roll. Corey got the seared ahi tuna. It's a little dark, no, so you can't. What is it? Seared coriander tuna. It's seared not an ahi coriander tuna. tuna. Sorry, my apologies. Then he also got a baked potato and we got some asparagus, There's which look amazing. Is it good? Amazing. We just finished up at the boat house. We did. We actually had two different experiences that we're about to tell you in our ratings. Brianna, stop Yes, up. so I'll start. So I actually thought it was really, really good. However, I'll insert a clip of last year's lobster roll that I got in May of 2021. And that was the size and the consistency of the lobster roll that I was expecting for this time. And it just was not. Like it was half the size, I was super disappointed with the portion, and my baked potato was a little bit underdone. So I think for me, what I wanna say even before that is the Caesar salad for me was so refreshing and absolutely delicious. Like I love a Caesar salad. Corey and I always split a Caesar when we go out, so that was top notch. And I absolutely adored, like when I tell you adored the peel and eat shrimp dipped in butter, it was like, oh, I would go there and eat just that again and get that as my actual. So I would rate overall the Boathouse for this experience and the last one, like kind of as like a whole, I would say Boathouse maybe has went down a little bit on my 
on my list and I would probably say I'm gonna give Boathouse a 7.5 out of 10. Where I love the peel and eat shrimp and I loved my last experience, my lobster roll this time didn't yeah. live up to it. My tuna was insane. Yeah, like was it absolutely was spectacular, absolutely he said. If you love like a hard sear, but like on the inside, like a raw sashimi type of fish, yeah. and spicy, oh, so good. This. it was absolutely to die for. So good. Yeah. I also had a baked potato. My baked potato was, was spectacular. Like totally different I literally had her have a bite, and I was just like, let's t let's figure this out. Hers was a night and day difference so different. compared to mine. It was so good. I'm going to give my experience a 9. I yeah. would give it a 10. But I'm gonna rate it as a whole, yeah. and it's getting the points knocked from an inconsistency standpoint. Yeah, for sure. So, but I would still go back again. So I will time. easily order what I just ordered. Yeah. Oh my god, order it! Because he if enjoyed you go it. Order that. Okay, we are back from Disney Springs. So, if you are new to the channel, then you are gonna learn that at the end of every day, Corey and I do our top three favorites, and I think I have mine. So I, I have mine. love to go first. Mm -hmm. So my top three favorites were a just straight up traveling to Disney. Like, I'm just mm -hmm. so excited to be here. My second favorite of the day was the peel and eat shrimp at Boathouse. Mm -hmm. I thought they were so good dipped in that butter. They were like the best thing I feel like I've eaten all day. And my third favorite of the day was doing our loop on the Skyliner with our mm -hmm. resort mug. My top three was traveling here as well. Yeah. Um, the loop on the Skyliner as well, but specifically the couple that we got to chat with. They were so the front, kind. We met end. such a lovely couple. They were wonderful. They were celebrating their honeymoon. So yeah. it was cool. They to, were really sweet. It was cool to meet them. Mm -hmm. And then my my tuna at Boathouse was absolutely phenomenal. Corey loved his dinner at the Absolutely Boathouse. phenomenal. So thanks so much for hanging out with us on our Disney travel day. Make sure if you have not already to give the video a big thumbs up. And be sure to press that subscribe button down below. And turn on that post notification bell so you never miss any of our other Disney travel day videos but good night have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow because we are going to Magic Kingdom see you tomorrow Doodle.